Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. And today we're talking about additions on your home and how they could possibly actually send the value of your home down. Yes, that's right. We said adding, trying to add value to a home could actually send it down. So what exactly are we talking about? But what we're talking about is flood insurance and flood zones. You know, what happens if this addition put your house into a high risk flood zone. It can have a major impact on your property value. So today we're gonna to teach you how to avoid that. Whenever you put an addition on your home, let's say your home was built before 1980 or 1978, FEMA considers to be a pre-firm property. To understand the difference between pre-firm and post-firm, check out our video, How Firm Are You? Well, what happens is when this addition is put on the house, Pre-firm structures have different rules when it comes to flood insurance rates. When you add the addition though, let's just say you build the addition in 2016. Now they consider your property to be built in 2016, which means it has different guidelines for flood insurance. It has different rates. These can be significantly higher. So when you're adding this addition, you wanna be very careful that it, you don't add the addition maybe somewhere in your property that's in a high risk flood zone. So you wanna get an elevation certificate done by any surveyor or engineer to just verify that this certain part of the property is not gonna put your property into a high risk flood zone. So if you've got questions about how additions could impact your property, how they could impact your flood insurance, please reach out to us. 205-451-4294. Visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Flood Insurance Guru, or like our Facebook page, The Flood Insurance Guru, where we do these daily flood education videos. Thank you.